little bucktail grading or showing you what the what the grades actually are. Starting with the uh, lowest, shortest, the sixes. Um, these tails are, are still and they're really nice. They're really nice tails for ten bucks. Really nice tails in general. Um, you know, some of them are like I'll probably this one's not going out the door until the rest of these are gone. So there's there's still a range in here. Um, not gonna lie, the earlier you get on and and buy, the better the tails are. I'll just go through here and, and look at ones that and also if I see you're getting a couple other tails, you're you're gonna end up getting better products. Um, fours and fives, this is the majority I like my display case, the majority of the tails are the fours and fives. Fives are like the three and a half to four. Tie most musky flies with this. Unlimited number of clousers. These are all full. If I didn't dry this one flat. So that's got some long ones in there. And I'll discount on aesthetics, honestly. Kind of silly, but... Um, the fours are just, are just the, they're the older brothers of the fives. So, so still three and a half, four, but fuller, probably some longer fibers, and cost a couple bucks, bucks more a pop. Um, fours are... The three, and we'll just show you some threes here too. Threes and fours, I would say, are, are where the value is, where you're not paying for the, the novelty or the, the extra, you know, quarter, half inch, which when you're looking at like a five and a half inch fiber, there aren't many of those. And unless you're being really careful about how you're tying, how you're cutting from the tail, um, sparseness, all that other stuff, it's not worth it to get the giant ones. Um, so threes and fours are like big musky fly. And if you're going really big and you and you want kind of the hollow fly effect with the longer fibers and you're a little picky, I would say you start going into twos and threes. Um, the grade threes are are in the $20 range um, 20 to 25 and all these are like they're full big tails and they're clean they don't have junk on them I don't use ammonia or peroxide um, I spend a lot of time got to tape up my display case there I spend a lot of time making sure these things are nice and uh, yeah, I want to make money. That's I gotta pay rent, but I also want you to open up the bag or box or whatever and be like, "Ooh, you know, damn right, I paid twenty bucks or thirty. I mean, for some of the walls of twos, like yeah." I want you to get this. <laughs> oh my God. If you look at a supply demand curve in any industry, and then you and then you have the dynamic the supply demand dynamics of these ones and twos versus the fours and fives, the fact that I would only charge only charge between thirty and thirty five dollars for this when the other tails go for very easily between 15 and 20. And a lot of that's based on, you know, hairline, wopsy, fly shops, um, and some of the other guys doing this. Like 10 to 15 bucks for some of those, the supply demand for this, the curve is like infinite. It doesn't even make sense. So the ones are, they're, they're gonna be gone by the time you finish this video, honestly. There's, there's enough people that have been um, 
buying tails for me and understand the the grading process and the quality of tails and and I'm not doing you know thousands I'm doing hundreds um, maybe a thousand or so so yeah ones are a lot of a lot of five five and a half and and they're just they're huge twos are kind of the same quality fibers but. The ones are just, they got that extra, they got that extra gear. So, I hope that helps with your decision making. Um, you know, three sixes does not equal a one. I'll put it that way. And, oh God, I was going to stop talking, but now... But but maybe two threes is better than a uh, uh, one one, depending on what you do. So threes and four personal tie-in, you know. Musky bugs. Like ten, nine to eleven inch flies. That, that's that three to four. And for the... And that's kind of because I like the sort of beastly hollow fly effect. Tying Buford's, articulated Buford's to, to get to that nine to 11 inch, you know, with one or two sections, some, sh some slop and flash off the back. Bobs are great. Um, it, it's really, it becomes personal preference and you don't need the the grade threes in order to tie big flies um, I think people I think the tying community community can suffer a little bit from what's cool and uh, and big flies and long bucktail is cool and it's not a requirement it, you don't have to if you have three and a half four inch fibers you can get a big fly out of that um, you just learn have to learn how to tie well and and tie some shitty flies in the in the meantime. So it's starting to get soapboxy. I'm gonna tie a fly and then go cast it at some musky. Have fun out there and 17th later today or 18th January 18th tomorrow. Be on the lookout. See ya.